In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful seven step business model slide design in PowerPoint. Uh, as you can see here, I've added seven uh, steps uh, with some bright and beautiful colors here. And then you can just add your the first uh, title and the detailed text here. Likewise, you can add a seven text here. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes, scroll down and from the stars and banners, I'm going to select, you can see here 16 point star, just draw the star by holding the shift key and you can see a small orange point, just drag it inside. So it looks something like this lines. And then I'm going to increase the size by holding the shift key. You can see here, increase it and take this to the bottom here you can see here i'm going to increase further the size and put it again exactly in the center now i'm going to add a lines on top of these and then later on i'm going to delete this shape so let me just select this one and change the color to maybe a light gray color so that i know that on this one i need to make the lines so go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle small size shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to put it exactly on top of this maybe i can reduce the size you can see here and then press ctrl d to duplicate bring it on to the second line rotate it you need to do it slowly one by one you can see here so and press ctrl d so this is my third one if it goes here and there a little bit not a problem press ctrl d so this is my fourth towards the right you can see here that i'm going to select this press ctrl d then i'm going to rotate it and add it this side you can see here so as you can see here i have added several lines here and then let me just select this shape and delete it press the delete key you can see here i have deleted this one now i'm going to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here and put it exactly in the center and shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to add one more shape here for all to fill this gap for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here and rotate it something like this and bring it here let me just rotate it perfectly you need to spend some time to do this and then you can see here right mouse click go to format shape let me just make it somewhat transparent so we know exactly how much we are going to cut it so then i'm going to make it no outline then right mouse click edit points you can see here this point i'm just going to drag it here inside so it looks something like this and the, ex the area which is going uh, beyond the slide area, I'm just going to remove it. For that, I can go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, then select this shape, hold the shift key, select this rectangle, merge shape. You can see here, I can just simply subtract it. So I, I end up getting this shape. Now it's easy for me. I can just simply control D, duplicate and paste it on to the other options for example press ctrl d you can see here again rotate it it doesn't matter it is overlapping because i'm just going to send this to back so again press ctrl d you can see here we just need to just do it one by one so it will take some time but the end result will be very good so let me just put it this one here control d again control d and this is the last one 
so you can see here we end up getting this one and one more at the bottom let me just put it here all right now i'm just going to select all uh, this uh, trapezoid shapes by holding the shift key you can see here and make it no transparency now it's time to give some different colors starting with this one circle i'm just going to give maybe a light gray color and later on i can change it and then bring this to front so it looks like this and then starting with this you can choose any good coloring format for example i'm going to select this color then i can just select any random color of your choice also you can select so i'm just selecting some random colors here you can see here do it one by one so that uh, i can give this color then i can give maybe this color and maybe the last one i can give maybe this color and then i'm just going to select this one and then just send this two back you can see here select one by one and send this two back so you need to do one by one you can see here select it and send this two back so i'm just going to send this two back and then this also i'm just going to send this two back and then you need to change the color of these uh, lines also according to the color which you have selected here so again i can use the eyedropper and select this color then i can select eyedropper this color so likewise you need to just change the color of each line here using the eyedropper if you don't have the eyedropper you can just simply select from this one whichever you have selected you can see here like this you can just do it but using eyedropper it's uh, it's quite easy to do it but this eyedropper is not available in the older version of uh, powerpoint so you have to just see how you can handle that things so you can see here uh, we have put this one let me just go and remove the guides and now it's time to add the options here so go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold down the shift key and make it this much size you can see here shape outline i'm going to choose the same color which is here and you can increase the weight maybe six points you can see here shape fill i can make it some white color or some light gray color whichever color which you feel best you can add it press ctrl d so this is the second one so each top of the line i'm just going to add this option you can see here one by one and then you need to change the color for each one so this is again the color i'm going to use this one this one i'm going to use the color which is this so likewise you just need to change the color of all these options so you can see here i've changed all the colors now it's time to add the text just put the option one here this is zero one i'm going to change the font you can just change any font of your choice you can make it bold and increase it and then just press ctrl d to duplicate and then add it to the other options one by one and change it so let me just complete this and then you can just rename the text and the last one is you can just go and add the title and the detail text i'll just say title here you can see here you can give some gray color or dark gray color maybe reduce the size make it bold and then you can add some detail text so you can see here let me just reduce the size make it gray center align and then you can add it here you can see here press ctrl d and then you can add one by one here i'm just pressing ctrl d here you can see here and that's it this is our design and if you want you can add some animation to it
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye